Okay, what we're going to be making now is actually uh, the good old-fashioned American Whip chocolate cake. For this, we're going to need flour, which is a big bag. It's down there. Don't worry about it. Good old-fashioned Miracle Whip. You don't want to be using any other brand of, well, unless it's really close to Miracle Whip. You see, mayonnaise and Miracle Whip are two separate things, right? So you actually need the zip of Miracle Whip for this recipe. So don't use anything else. We're going to need vanilla, baking powder, salt, nice cold water, and of course a bowl. Okay? Uh, it's actually interesting. This recipe, it started in World War II because the women back then didn't have all the ingredients to bake with. Like they didn't have fresh eggs or they didn't have oil. You know, they were lacking a lot of things. So they made do. Uh, I've actually made this really cool mock apple pie. I'm going to have to do that for you guys. You're going to love it. But this is really surprising. This delicious, moist chocolate cake. Oh, and cocoa. I have that over on the counter. I'll get that in a second. Okay, let's fast forward to the bowl. Okay, um, once we have the cup of Miracle Whip in, we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm making a double batch, like I said, so don't worry about that. Okay, we're going to use our cake thing. Now, you see, you have to cream this together first. So if you don't have oh, butter or if you don't have butter or you don't have eggs or oil or any of that good stuff, this is the way to go. Get the locker in place. Okay, as you can see, it's actually going together rather quickly. And to that, we're going to start to add the dry ingredients once it's all together. I got the cocoa. <laughs> I think we're going to be using about a cup of cocoa. I mean, it's a half a cup of cocoa for your recipe. I'm using a cup because I'm a weirdo. <clears throat> I should be using a spout. Uh, don't mind that, I was making some bread earlier, that's why that's like that. Everything else is perfectly fine. Now remember, you want to add this stuff in slowly. Because your mixer will go all over the place if you don't. <laughs> Okay. Now every time uh, you're going to be using about oh, half half of what I'm using, you get three quarters of a cup of water. So I'm going to be using more. So every time you add in a little bit of dry, you have to add in a little bit of wet just to emulsify it. Okay. That's the cocoa in. One second, I get the flour. Okay, we add in the baking soda, or baking powder. I always get those things mixed up, don't mind me. Okay, we have one minute for the flour. Okay, and for that, we're going to add a dash of salt, which is not much. Uh, maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon. Remember, the miracle of actually has a lot of salt in it to begin with, so you don't need a lot of salt in this recipe. Okay. Now, now is when we start to add the flour. Now remember, you have your cup, no, you have your, you have your uh, cold water ready. Because this is actually when you're going, you, about three quarters, well, sorry, three quarters of a cup of cold water. We're adding in two and a quarter cup of cake, uh, you know, flour. But every time we add in flour, we have to add in a little bit of the water. See, every time you add a little bit of flour, 
And a little bit of water. Just keep everything lubricated, you know? too thick. You know what a cake batter looks like basically. You want it to be sort of fluid but a little bit firm. So if you had to add in more than three quarters of a cup, that is okay. And three quarters of a cup is a good signpost. A little tiny bit more. That is looking beautiful. Okay. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to move on to the pan. Okay, now to prepare the pan, what we're going to do is we're just going to put about two tablespoons of oil in. I'm using a large pan, so I'm using a little bit more. There you go. Not too much, just enough to coat the bottom and the sides. Okay, just. I use my fingers. Why not, right? Let's go through and we coat the sides, coat the bottom, make sure everything's nice and oily. Okay, and then once we do that, we put just a little sprinkle of flour in, just so that. You know, everything releases nicely. Get it up the sides a little bit. And then just kick out the excess. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna put the cake pan, we're gonna fill the cake pan from the bowl. Now I hope you've had your oven preheating at 350 because you wanna put this in a preheated oven. If you start from cold, it takes forever and the cake does not turn out properly. Mom, now if you want to do this in a layer, or if you want to do this in muffins, or whatever, it's all good. Now we're going to put this in the oven at 350. Which is pre -hut. you want to make sure it's preheated. Okay, you want that in there for about 25 30 minutes, okay? So you want to make sure that's nice and even. Okay. So we're going to put that in the oven for about 25-30 minutes until it's done. Uh, when it's still springy in the middle, you don't want it to dry out too much. Let's fast forward to that bit. Okay, and here we go. This is the finished product. We have a lovely, delicious Merrick Loop chocolate cake. We just want to go around the edges here, just to make sure that it's totally disengaged. 
If you oiled the pan and floured it like I did, it will be absolutely no effort to get out of the pan at all. Okay, so we put our cooling rack like this, and we flip it upside down, and voila! Don't worry, this all just, don't worry about that, it just wipes off. See? That's just got a bit of flour. Okay, uh, next we're going to icing it. Okay, and here we have the cooled cake. It's beautiful and slightly lower the room temperature because I can stuck in the fridge for a few minutes. And we have some pre-made chocolate frosting. Now what you do first is, now I'm not serving this as a cake. I'm actually gonna cut it into squares. So we don't have to be too fancy with what we're doing here. Just give it a nice, good cover. Okay. Just with the first go over, you want to make sure that every inch is covered. All the cracks and crevices, as they say. There you go. And there we go. I'm going to be cutting this into squares just to serve around. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to like my stuff and subscribe. Thanks for watching and enjoy.